430 here on the now when it comes to honoring those who fight for our freedom. Sometimes the proper recognition comes decades after the fact. As the now's Russell Haythorn shows us, this is a moment that is certainly better late than never. You can file this story under the tab. Good things come to those who wait. We were under pretty regularly rocket mortar fire or ground probes. Exactly 50 years ago this month, Doug Hendrickson was drafted. He shipped off to Vietnam shortly thereafter. It'd be quiet for a few days and you'd kind of settle down and then you'd get hit and you're back in the thick of it. The soldier, now civilian, is finally getting the recognition he deserves. Just glad to be here and all the friends and relatives and enjoying this interview very much. A bronze star for his heroics in that long protracted conflict. This is uh, uh, really not just an award to one individual, but a recognition of what Vietnam veterans did for our country. Congressman Ken Buck says in many cases, returning soldiers simply don't talk about their battlefield heroics with their friends or their family. Part of the uh, challenge is that so many that have gone to war want to forget it. So the recognition often comes years after the fact. For Hendrickson, it was a 2005 reunion with a captain he served with that got the ball rolling on this award, a ceremony being hosted by a friend of Doug's who lives just a few miles from Eaton, where Doug graduated from high school in 1965. It's my home. Yes, good things come to those who wait and are perhaps made even better for those who served. Even if it's 48 years after uh, that service. In Weld County. We don't forget. Russell Haythorn for the now Denver. No, we don't forget. We don't forget is right. And thank you for your service. I'm sorry it took you so long, but there you go. We finally yeah. got its bronze star. That's impressive. Yeah. A warning, though, about this next story coming up. You may find some of these images a little graphic, so be warned.